Do you go by Liz or Elizabeth? Both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you are holding it down for the females in the chosen. It's nice to hear. <laughs> I am. I mean, just watching you on screen. I mean, from your first episode. I mean, we. I mean, I think male, female. We we were all torn up, just by the um, beautiful encounter that you had with Jesus. Talk to us about your role in the chosen and and being that female. You are. You, you're holding it down for us. Well, it's. It was incredible to to read the first few scripts and see how well they wrote women um this is you know the new testament the gospels it is very male heavy male driven it's the 12 disciples everyone knows you know even the church the catholic church and like it's it's, it's male dominated um and I've, you know, I've always wanted to know more about the women in the Bible. I wanted to, to uh, be able to identify more with, especially the New Testament. And so I was so excited and so grateful for the writers for like opening the whole season with the, the whole series with Mary Magdalene and, and her, you know, trauma, her past. They fleshed out this really believable backstory that, that makes her, um, her demon possession and her PTSD and trauma like makes sense and relate and be relatable for yeah. people who've also gone gone through that sort of trauma. So um, yeah, I'm I'm just I'm grateful to be able to 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 represent any of this, um, but also watching them write these female characters and gr having them you know develop and grow over the seasons. Um, and season three, there's there's a lot of female energy in it, which yeah. is really exciting and also just like i'm so proud of them to, to, to make that change in christian media yeah i mean seriously and i always you know as a minister myself i'm you know i'm looking for that that yeah. the female example and i'm like you know mary magdalene was the first one to share the entire gospel of the risen jesus yeah. christ you know like that wasn't a man yeah. <laughs> in the bible that was a woman you know so i'm like where is that representation so it's so awesome to have you doing that for us on screen <laughs> how has uh, the chosen ministered to you in just being um in this role for these years oh i mean it's been it's been life changing it's um it's made me revisit the Gospels and, um, you know, after like playing out these stories, I'm like, wow, wow, that that's in the Gospels? I don't remember that from like reading it as a kid or what, you know, like these stories of healing and Jesus' messages of, of love and these parables that are embedded with so much truth and love and, and really esoteric meanings that, that you you know uh, it's it's intense stuff and really beautiful and i almost feel like every time i've gone to churches or like i i'm i almost feel like i'm missing out on so much of the depth of the gospels mm -hmm. um and so i feel like the chosen has has opened that door for me and just in my own personal life to be able to ha have the joy of being a part of this show has you know opened up my you know hope and and my heart in in ways i wasn't expecting oh i love that that's true it's something about the chosen it's just it's able to capture the depth of the complexities of being a human and having a relationship with with Christ. Um, I know that one of the missions of the chosen is to present the authentic Jesus, you know, not to convert, not to try to, you know, yeah. make, make Christians, you know, people convert to Christianity, but to present just the authentic Jesus. So Liz, what, what's that look like to you? Who is the authentic Jesus? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's a little different for everyone because we need different things. Um, but for me, it is this this presence of pure love, uh, unconditional love. Uh, and I think my character has been able to like experience that and, and showcase that, uh, that she's kind of always running away <laughs> and that Jesus is still there wow. and forgives and loves. And like, uh, there's a line he says in, in season two to Mary of like, it's over. like. 
pretty much like forget about it. Stop holding on Mm -hmm. to your pain. Stop holding on to your past or your sins or your transgressions. Like it's over. It's every moment is new. Every moment you can you can be renewed in that love. And so I think that's that's the thing that um, keeps returning to me. You know. Awesome. And on season three, there's going to be uh, just a little bit more in depth, strug- struggling and wrestling with uh, with the, like God and the characters in it, or Jesus and the characters. Um, talk, can you talk to that? Just having a relationship with someone and not it always being the rainbows and butterflies and the oh. warm fuzzies, <laughs> yeah. but actually, you know, doing life and in that kind of way. I think, I mean, that's what's fun about the show is is these are very human and yeah. flawed right. people. Like um, we all are. We all are, yeah. and that's why it's so relatable. Um, but yeah, those day-to-day things, you know, these these moments of miracles are just awe-inspiring and these healings and even for Mary to be healed. And it's, you think, okay, it's, it's, it's done, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. And then these day-to-day things that, that start popping back into your consciousness and, and you're offended by someone or you're holding on to a grudge or you're holding on to, you know, some pain or guilt. And like, there, there are, uh, especially in this season, these sort of nuanced interpersonal relationships that we can, I think, they show a, a, how to work things out in a really sweet and healthy way, which is maintaining love for each other and communication with each other. I love that. Talk about having stuff like The Chosen in the world um, in, in Hollywood in this type of capacity. Like so many people are streaming and watching. And yeah. The level of artistry is incredible. Talk about having something like The Chosen in the industry and out here for us consumers. It's, it's unexpected, you know? I mean, the quality, you see it in other film projects and TV shows. Um, but I think because because we're able to stream things and and the people have a choice in what they watch instead of you know the set sort of channel limitation on TV like we can watch whatever we want whenever we want on whatever device we want it's accessible um, and I think that's what makes it uh, so special especially because the message is for everyone and so it is free to everyone and i I like that that mirrors the message um but yeah i think i think people are there's a demand for it that maybe hollywood hasn't picked up on (laughs) well thank god yeah (laughs) thank god y'all have uh talk about um just have y'all have you witnessed any kind of any moments while filming the chosen where you're like this is divine like god intervened here like this is wild the whole thing (laughs) i mean honestly i i i can't believe this is happening most of the time you know Um, And even like season two being uh, in production during quarantine and during COVID, I I was like, this is, this feels impossible. Um, The whole thing feels impossible. The fact that it was fan supported, you know, and, and uh, funded, you know, in the early stages of like crowdfunding, like this, uh, this is unexpected, you know, but so grateful to be a part of it and and uh yeah the whole thing feels you know divine yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah. last thing what do you hope people take from it when you think about it and and on a whole you know on a whole level you're like man when they watch this i hope this is what they get i hope they i hope they get some hope out of it you know i think um I think that's what people are needing right now and probably have always needed. But um, I think I think when times are tough, this this world is challenging and can be really dark. I think um, media and Hollywood sometimes adds to that, those fears and the and um, anxieties and nightmares and you know like i think the chosen is offering this sort of content to to inspire hope and love and um 
you know, inspire us to make better decisions in our lives. Mm, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you for so being here. Thank you. Yeah, of Appreciate course. it.